The fight for the soul of the Liberal Party has gone global, with the Prime Minister declaring it a centre, not a Conservative Party. Malcolm Turnbull staked his claim during a speech in London as he attempts to stare down right-wing rebel MPs, including Tony Abbott. Here's Charles Croucher. A political broadside from the far side of the world. Right, On stage in London, Malcolm Turnbull with a history lesson a message for home. Menzies went to great pains not to call his new political party conservative, but rather the Liberal Party, which he firmly anchored in the centre of Australian politics. But the factional feud continues. Tony Abbott leading a vocal group of conservatives critical of the party's direction. The Prime Minister using his predecessor's own words against him. The sensible centre, to use my predecessor Tony Abbott's phrase, was the place to be and it remains the place to be now. The speech enraging party elders. Why would you do it? Why would you do it from overseas? Why would you throw a can of petrol onto a fire? Cabinet ministers, desperate to move on, tried not to fuel the flames. We are as conservative as we are as liberal as we are, and as a consequence, uh, we've been very electorally successful. And the best of conservatism is when you preserve the best of the past while adapting to the future. If you get stuck in this, you know, how do you see yourself debate, I, th I don't know where that ends up. Bill Shorten thinks he does. Mr Turnbull is having an identity crisis. He's debating whether or not he's a liberal or a conservative. The Labor leader calling for a loser leaves town style showdown between Malcolm Turnbull and Tony Abbott. One of them's got to go. For the good of the nation. Pauline Hanson and Corey Bernardi quickly turning the Prime Minister's words into a recruitment campaign with a call to arms for their own parties. Let's bring in political editor Laurie Oakes from Canberra. Now Laurie, what exactly was the Prime Minister trying to achieve with his comments? Well that's a good question Pete and one a lot of people in the Liberal Party are asking, some of the Prime Minister's friends as well as his enemies. Mr Turnbull has been stung by allegations from right-wing ranters outside the Liberal Party, the Alan Joneses and Andrew Bolts of the world, as well as Tony Abbott and other internal critics, allegations that he's not a true Liberal, that he's Labor light and that he's dragged the party to the left, away from its Conservative base. So he's defending himself by quoting the great Liberal hero and founder of the party, Sir Robert Menzies, who was determined it should have a progressive side. But the great mass of Australian voters are not much interested in arguments about ideology and there's plenty of evidence that they're turned off by politicians navel-gazing and talking about themselves. The punters are interested in issues that affect them directly. Economic security issues, jobs, housing, wage levels, tax, energy prices, national security too, of course. And that's what they want political leaders to focus on. But while he's fighting ideological wars, Malcolm Turnbull is not selling the government's message on those things. What's more, he's shining a light on liberal disunity and leadership instability. Maybe not that smart, Pete.